In this video, we're going to talk about the um, global namespace in uh, JavaScript. And the reason that that's important is that uh, putting data into global JavaScript variables is often the easiest way for one component to um, communicate with another component. So um, um, I'm working here in the console window of Firebug inside the uh, Firefox browser. So if you don't have Firebug installed, um, I recommend that you download it. It's a free install and it's an invaluable tool for web developers. So in order to create a global variable in JavaScript, you put it inside uh, JavaScript's window namespace. So if I want to create a global variable called myVar, I can go here and type in window.myVar equals alpha. And then if I click the run button on uh, Firebug, um, uh, I'll actually run that command. And you can see I've run it uh, there right now. So now let's um, alert it back to see what we have. And we can type here and type in alert window.myVar and then click the run button. And you can see there we alerted back as alpha. But there's another way to um, reference this variable because inside the uh, window namespace um, we can reference uh, variables by using the um, uh, square bracket notation. So if I go here and use square bracket and then press the run button, I still get alpha. Now the advantage of using the um, square bracket notation is that I can then reference this property indirectly. So if I now comment that out and I say uh, var key equals my var and then I say alert window key, I expect to see um, a reference to alpha printing out. So the, um, the square bracket uh, notation is a way of referencing a property of an object. So uh, just to be clear here, the object that we're referencing is window, which is the global JavaScript namespace. So anything that I put inside the window object is going to be visible to all components. And in this case, we're referencing the property uh, um, defined by key, which in this case is my var. So um, in this case, we've been talking about um, putting just a simple variable my var uh, into the global namespace. But oftentimes it's going to be more efficient to put um, a object into the global namespace. So um, what I'm going to demonstrate now is how you can use uh, JSON syntax and, and objects to create more complex global variables. So let's clear out what we have right now. And uh, now go, and I'm going to say, um, I'll just copy some code uh, from the clipboard here to make typing easier. So let's go here. So now what I'm doing is I'm defining a global variable called underbar v, and I'm saying, that it's equal to an object. At this point, I've put nothing in the object. Now what I'm going to do is go and put uh, two pieces of data into that object. So let's go here now and um, put in uh, underbar ID equals grid and underbar row equals two. So now inside this V object, which is inside the global namespace, we have two properties, underbar ID and underbar row. So now let's say we'd like to actually um, alert this data out. So let's go here now and uh, copy this piece of code um, from the clipboard and then run it. So when I click run now, you can see there's grid, which we've just uh, printed out. And if I change that to um, row and then print that out, I now have uh, two over there. So um, here we have one, we've put one variable into the global namespace, but it can have multiple properties. Um, and uh, just like we showed how you can uh, reference the object, the uh, property name using a variable, the same thing is true here. You can see that I'm using key and I'm going to alert it over there. So uh, when I run this now, basically there's the value of um, over there. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video.